Hello, good afternoon, dobro dan, dobrodošli u novu video lekciju. Možda vam je malo neobično što na ovom mom kanalu Jelena Mladenović gledate i video za engleski jezik, jer su uglavnom video lekcije za nemački. Budući da se polako približavamo o cifri od 100.000 pretplatnika, nameravam da ponekad objavljujem i lekcije za engleski jezik na ovom kanalu, tako da pritisnite dugme subscribe i očekujte nove lekcije i za engleski. Izgubiti. Izgubiti je... Lose, ključ, key, novac, money, kišovran, umbrella, posao, job. Ok, so, on stalno gubi ključeve. He loses his keys. He always Loses his keys. Znači, na lose smo dodali s, je li tako? To što je u pitanju. He. Present simple. He. He always loses his keys. Ja ponekad gubim novac. I sometimes lose money. I sometimes lose money. Ne dodajem nikakav nastavak kad pričam za sebe. I sometimes lose money and he sometimes or he always loses his keys. Izgubio sam kišobran, for example, last week. Izgubio sam kišobran prošle nedelje, će biti I lost my umbrella last week. I lost my umbrella last week. Dakle, prošlo vreme od lose, izgubiti, je lost. So, I lost my umbrella last week. A šta si ti izgubio? Kako ćemo pitati šta si ti izgubio? Pitanje u prošlom vremenu. Znači, what did you lose? What did you lose? Kad postavimo pitanje u prošlom vremenu, pitamo did, sa did, i običan glagol. Znači ne lost. Ne kažemo what did you lost. Ne treba. S čim smo stavili did, već je to prošlo vreme, znači ide samo lose. What did you lose? Izgubio sam posao. I lost my job. I lost my job. Znači ja odgovaram sa lost. Pitam sa lose. What did you lose? So, lose. What does he always lose? Šta on uvek gubi? What does he always lose? He always loses his keys. What do I lose? I sometimes lose money. What did you lose last week? I lost my umbrella. And I lost my job. Ovdje u ovom slučaju he loses, he always loses his keys. Ako hoćemo da, znači koristimo smo present simple, uz always. Međutim, uz always ponekad možemo da koristimo i continuous tense, ono sa ing, ako time, ako hoćemo da kažemo da je to što se dešava nas malo nervira, iritira. Pa ako kažem he is always losing his keys, je također moguća varijanta, dakle kad vidite always i kažete to što je ovdje, Continuous treba da bude simple, to se stalno dešava, ponavlja se radnja, ali se to koristi, dakle, kad hoću da kažem da mi se to što se dešava ne dopada. He's always losing his keys and I don't like that. He's always losing his keys. Present continuous. He loses, he always loses his keys. Present simple. He lost his keys. Past simple. Ok, lose. Idemo broj dva da vidimo šta je jesti. Eat. Jesti je eat. Mnogo. A lot. Malo. A little. Kod kuće. At home. U restoranu. In a restaurant. Pizzu. Pizza. So eat je jesti. Ok. Let's see. On jede mnogo. He eats 
a lot. Znači, he, stalno, present simple, dodajemo s. He eats a lot. Does he eat a lot? Pitam sa does. In običan eat glagol, nema s, zato što ovdje ima s. So, does he eat a lot? Yeah, he eats a lot. He eats a lot. And you? Do you eat a lot? Do you eat a lot? I eat a little. I eat a little. Ja jedem malo. I eat a little. Znači, pitanje je bilo. Do you eat a lot? Do you also eat a lot? Da li ti jedeš mnogo? Do you also eat a lot? No. I eat a little. But he eats a lot. He eats a lot. Where does he eat? Usually. Where does he usually eat? Gde obično jede? Where does he usually eat? Kod kuće. He eats at home. Where does he eat? Where does he eat? He eats at home. He eats at home. And what about you? When, where do you eat? Where do you eat? Ponekad jedem u restoranu. I sometimes eat in or at a restaurant. I sometimes eat in a restaurant. I sometimes eat at home. And sometimes I eat in a restaurant. And he, where does he eat? He eats at home. He eats at home. Juče sam jeo pizzu. I... Ate pizza yesterday. I ate pizza yesterday, so it's not eat anymore. Nije više eat. U prošlom vremenu je ate. I ate pizza yesterday. So, šta si jeo juče? What did you eat yesterday? What did you eat yesterday? Šta si jeo juče? What did you eat? You eat yesterday. I ate pizza yesterday. And I did. I ate pizza. I didn't buy pizza. I made pizza. Napravila sam je. And I ate it. I pojela. Okay. And right now, if you want to use present continuous tense, are you eating now? Da li sada jedeš? No, I am not. I'm not eating now. I'm not eating now. I'm working now. Eat, eat, eat eating, yeah. Are you eating? Present continuous. Ajmo next. Kupiti. Znači, buy je kupiti. An apartment, stan, a car, Auto, phone, telefon, bread, chleb, watch, or you can also buy a clock. Uh, yeah, clock. Look. If it is, if you put it on the wall, then it's a clock. If you put it on your wrist, wrist, then it's a watch. Okay. So, he, I must have phone. On kupuje telefon, on kupuje novi telefon jednom godišnje. He buys a new phone once a year. He buys a new phone once a year. He buys a new phone once a year. So how often does he buy a new phone? Znači koliko... Često kupujem novi telefon. How often does he buy a new phone? He buys a new phone once a year. And, kako bi rekli, želi da kupi stan. He wants to buy an apartment. He wants to buy an apartment. Sad idemo, nas smo stavili na want, na prvi glagol. Buy also to buy infinitive. So he wants to buy an apartment. What does he want to buy? 
he wants to buy an apartment. And Arsatija is a kupish. What do you want to buy? Ja želim da kupim auto. I want to buy a car. What do you want to buy? What do you want to buy? I want to buy a car. I want to buy a car. Da li si jutro skupio hleb? Did you buy bread this morning? Did you buy bread this morning? Did you buy... Prošlo vreme. Did you buy bread this morning? Yes, I bought bread. And what else did I buy? I bought bread. I bought uh, two bottles of water this morning. And I bought something else. Um, a chocolate? No, I didn't buy any chocolate. Did I buy any meat? I didn't buy any meat. Uh, I didn't buy fruit. What else did I buy? I don't remember. Okay. Let's say... I bought, kupila sam, I bought, prošlo vreme od buy, bread and two bottles of water. I am on a diet, na dijeti sam. So, I just bought bread and two bottles of water. Okay. So, buy, bought. And what did he buy? Šta je on kupio? What did he buy? On je kupio, he bought an expensive watch. Skup sad. He bought an expensive watch he bought an expensive watch i bought some water and bread and he bought an expensive watch and present continuous Nochi, where is he now for example where is he now he is uh, at the shop he is buying or at a store, at a grocery store, he's buying uh, tomatoes. Znači, trenutno, what is, where is he? He's at the shop, he's buying tomatoes. He's buying. Kupo je trenutno. Ok, to je bio buy. Idemo da vidimo što je dalje. Broj četiri zna sve i zna ništa. Znači, no. Znati, poznavati. All, sve, nothing, ništa. So he knows, odnosno ovdje ćemo imati everything. He knows everything. I know nothing. He knows everything, says, he knows everything. I know nothing. Primetite da ja ne znam ništa. Se ne kaže I don't know nothing. Nego samo znam ništa. Znači, nema dve negacije. Ne može i don't i nothing. I know nothing. Ja ne znam ništa. And he knows everything. On zna sve. He knows everything. And da li on zna tebe? Da li poznaje tebe? Does he know you? Does he know you? Yes. He knows me. He knows me. Poznaje me. And da li ti znaš njega? Do you know him? Yes, I know him. He knows me. I know him. In the past, znao sam, I knew it. Znao sam, I knew it. Znači, no, ne čitamo k. No, prošlo vreme, opet ne čitamo k. New, kao on new, nešto novo, a new car. No, new. A no, znati isto kao no, ne. Isto se izgovara. Znači, he knows everything, I know nothing. Does he know you? Yes, he knows me. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. I knew it, znao sam. Da li si znao? Did you know it? Did you know it? Yes, I knew it. Yes, I knew it. No, new. Što se tiče present continuous tense, u suštini ovaj glagol ne koristimo present continuous, znači sa ing, to on pripada onoj grupi glagola koje označavaju neko stanje, state ili stative verbs, i znači ne mogu da kažem I'm knowing, to ne postoji, znači uvek kažem I know, 
и го питам, do you know, does he know, yes he knows, no he doesn't know, значи sve jedno da li je trenutno, da li je inače, uvek se pita u prezensi i potensu. Znači, ovaj glagol nema ing oblik. Nema, ne koristi se u prezensu kad je ne stresu. Spavati, sleep, dugo, long, malo, a little, dobro, well, good, well, loše, bad, bad, ok, so, on spava, he sleeps a lot, he sleeps a lot, I sleep a little, he sleeps a lot, I sleep a little. He sleeps a lot. I sleep a little. He sleeps well. On dobro spava. I sleep sleep bad or badly. Prilog. Badly. Loše. Okay. Do you always sleep well? Da li uvek dobro spavaš? Do you always sleep well? Yeah, I usually sleep well. Kako si spavao juče? How did you sleep yesterday? Reći ćemo I slept well. Znači prošlo vreme slept. I slept well. I slept well. How did you sleep? How did you sleep? I slept well. Is he sleeping now? Present continuous. Trenutno is he sleeping now? No. No. He is not sleeping now. He is awake. He is awake, znači budanje. He is not sleeping at the moment. Is he sleeping? No, he is not sleeping. He is awake. Budanje, he is awake. Sleep, sleep. Work. Every day. A lot. Me rado. Double. He works every day. He works a lot and he likes working. He works every day or she. He or she works a lot. He or she likes working. I don't work. Every day, I don't work a lot, I don't like working, bi bilo odrično. I don't work every day, I don't work a lot, and I don't like working. He works every day, he works a lot, and he likes working. And yesterday, did you work yesterday? Did you work a lot yesterday? Da li si uče mnogo radio? Did you work a lot yesterday? Yes, I worked a lot yesterday. Znači, ovo je prvi za sada koji je pravilan glagol. I kad pitamo did you work, odgovaramo dodavanjem nastavka idi na glagol. I worked a lot yesterday. I worked a lot yesterday. Are you working now? Da li sada radiš? Are you working now? Yeah. I'm working now. Yes, I am. Ili yes, I'm working now. Present continuous. Are you working? Yes, I'm working. Go. Ichi. Pešice. On foot. Na posao. To work. U školu. To school. U prodavnicu. To the store. To the shop. To the grocery store. So, he on uvek ide pešice. He always goes on foot. Dodajemo i s u slučaju. Da ne bilo gos, nego goes. He always goes on foot. He always goes on foot. Uvek ide pešice. I go to work by bus. A ja idem na posao autobusom. Go. I go to work by bus. He goes to work on foot. Pešic, on foot. Does he go to school? Da li ide u školu? Does he go to school? Does he go to school? No, 
he doesn't go to school, he is too little for school. Does he go to school? He doesn't go to school. He's too little for school. He doesn't go to school. Did you go to the did you go to the store, to the shop? I went. Dakle, došlo do prošlog vremena. I went to the shop. Išao sam u prodavnicu. Go, went. U prošlo vreme went. Znači, nema veze sa jedno slovo zajedničko sa go. Did you go to the shop yesterday? Yes, I went to the shop. What did you buy? I bought broad. <laughs> broad. I bought bread and two bottles of water. Did you go? Yes, I went. What did you buy? I bought bread and two bottles of water. Where are you going now, Deider Sada? Where are you going now? I'm going for a walk. I am going for a walk. I'm going for a walk. Repeat, ponoviti, repeat, word, reč, sentence, rečenica. So, he repeats words, ponavlja reči. He repeats words and I repeat sentences. What's better? Šta je bolje, to repeat words or sentences? I think it's better to repeat sentences. Not individual words, but sentences. But okay, he repeats words. And I repeat sentences. I repeat sentences. He repeated everything I said. Ponovio je sve što sam ja rekla. Znači, glagol je pravilan. Prošlo vreme. Idi. He repeated everything that I said. He repeated the words. He repeated the sentences. He repeated everything I said. And he's repeating everything. Something now. He is repeating present continuous. Nositi na dva načina. Znači, wear za glasses, za coat, za t-shirt, carry za bag. Znači, nositi na sebi i odreću glagol je wear. I wear glasses, I wear a coat, I wear a t-shirt. I carry a bag. So he wears glasses and carries a bag. He always wears glasses, uvek nosi naočare and i nosi torbu, carries a bag. Znači, wears, kod carry, y je prešlo u i i dodali smo yes nastavak. He wears glasses and he carries a bag. I wear glasses, but I don't always carry a bag. I wear glasses. Ja nosim naočare. I always wear glasses, almost always. But I don't carry a bag always. I don't always carry a bag. Ne nosim uvek torbu. I don't always carry a bag. Yesterday... I wore glasses, prošlo vreme, and I carried a bag. Znači, wear je nepravilan, ide wore. I wore glasses, carry je pravilan, I carried, idi dodemo, a bag. Did you wear glasses yesterday? Yes, I wore glasses yesterday. Did you carry a bag? Yes, I carried a bag. Right now, I am wearing glasses. Glasses, sad trenutno nosim naočare, but I am not carrying a bag. Ali nemam nekako torbu kod sebe. I am not carrying a bag, but I am wearing glasses. Znači, dva načina da kažemo nositi. Nositi na sebi, I wear glasses, I wear earrings, a ring, watch, a shirt, pants, to je sve wear. A, I carry something in my hand. And drink, coffee, tea, beer, in a cafe, or at home. 
So he drinks beer in a cafe, at a cafe. I drink tea at home. He drank tea yesterday, prošlo pio je. He drank, he drinks beer, pije, uvek pivo, ali juče pio, juče pio čaj. He he drank tea yesterday. I didn't drink tea. I drank coffee. I didn't drink tea. I drank coffee. And right now I'm drinking coffee. Oh, yeah, mali, dobro. Znači, I am drinking coffee now. I'm drinking coffee now. And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.